Hi folks, this is Klaus at Top Hydraulics. We'll show you today how to check the fuse for the convertible top pump in a CLK 209 chassis. And I'm sitting in the trunk already to show you, but just to explain first, if your top doesn't move and there are no error codes, um, you cannot figure out otherwise why the top wouldn't move, meaning you have already checked that the luggage divider is in place and there's no warning in the dash, then the next thing to do is check the uh, fuse for the pump. If you cannot hear the pump running, the uh, that fuse may be blown and we'll show you how to check that. Conversely, if the pump is running, no need to uh, check the fuse. So we already know the pump is in the trunk in the left corner and let's go into some more details what we have to do to get access to the fuse. Here we are in the trunk. We uh, first take the little access panel out to uh, look at the hydraulic pump and here you see the pump with the minimum maximum fluid level marker. The fluid is too low in this pump so there is a leak somewhere. Anyway we're now going to talk about the fuse. In order to get to the fuse, the fuse is uh, mounted forward of the pump behind the rear wheel well. A uh, little tricky to access but actually easy if you know how. There's uh, three rivet style tabs to be removed. The rivet style tab means you pull the middle part out and then the rest comes up. There's one here and there are two against the uh, back wall. Um, after that we have one more um, screw type tab here that we simply unscrew on the top and now we can carefully pull out this uh, carpeted panel that was previously covering the uh, uh, pump. Note that there is a connector for this trunk light. We have uh, pulled that loose previously already. Or you can uh, take this trunk light out of the panel and leave it in the trunk. So here we have the pump, we have the tonneau cylinder, here's the rear wheel well, and in the rear wheel well we have a uh, plastic cover on the uh, fuse box that we will simply pull up if I can reach over the camera here. So here's a view again of the fuse bo box on the rear of the uh, wheel well. We have uh, pulled the carpeted panel aside some more and uh, actually pulled it up and stabilized it by pushing the other panel under it so this is a nice stable setup. Here's our uh, fuse cover or fuse box. It has a cover with four tabs on it. You pull up on the outside of the tabs, same on the other side of the box, and the cover swivels up and here you see the uh, 40 amp fuse exposed. We have here the uh, main terminal with 12 volt supply directly from the battery and the 40 amp fuse going to the uh, connection for the red wire which is power supply to the pump. And uh, this 40 amp fuse here is actually blown. It is not totally easy for the layman to see whether a fuse is bad or not. This one uh, is kind of dark at the edges of the green. That's where it uh, blew and burned a little bit. And if you were to look really close, you could probably see some um, better indicator yet. But um, instead of trusting just a visual inspection, we can put a voltmeter on here. And um, let's say we put one pin of the voltmeter to a ground lug nearby, the other one on the power supply. Here we see 12.9 volts. But if we put the other one other pin of the voltmeter on the other end of the fuse there's no voltage and uh, thus we have proof that the fuse is blown. Um, if you have a blown fuse of course you'll be tempted to replace it and uh, see what happens. Well the fuse will blow again right away. Um, the only reason that these fuses blow is because the pump motor is bad, is shorted out and um, that's nothing that you can fix yourself at home. Um, you can either buy a new pump at huge expense from Mercedes or try to find a used one and buy somebody else's problem that way. Or you have the pump uh, rebuilt by Top Hydraulics. Better yet, get one sent to you in core exchange where you get a pump fully rebuilt 
uh, with a fully rebuilt and upgraded motor, all new sealed inside, fully um, uh, rebuilt and tested and far exceeding um, Mercedes specs. And uh, these pumps are indeed better than new as far as we're concerned. Um, they should last longer than a brand new one under similar circumstances. Anyway, having said all of this, um, here is the 40 amp fuse that we will send you with your pump if you had a uh, blown fuse in this car before. And um, in order to uh, replace the fuse, you just um, take off the 10 millimeter nut for the uh, red wire, the two 8 millimeter nuts for the uh, fuse, and the 13 millimeter nut for the main battery connection. Now be careful. This uh, part is still um, is direct connected directly to the battery, so you don't want to hit ground with these lugs unless you uh, disconnect the battery first, meaning you only disconnect the negative battery pole in your engine compartment uh, before you uh, work on these uh, hot terminals. 